Hello and welcome to a Concept Creation 3D tutorial on how to convert a SketchUp model into Cinema 4D format. So firstly uh, what we're going to do is you want to open your SketchUp. Now it's worth noting that um, this only really works with SketchUp Pro um, as you can't, you can't export uh, an FBX file in uh, normal SketchUp. Um, Right, so this is uh, SketchUp Pro. It's worth noting also there's no point in modelling the rear of your uh, building if you're not going to be able to see it. So I always just put the detail on the front of your model. There's no point in building things that you're not going to see. So this is this is a, a house that I've built in SketchUp. Uh, also, I haven't put any glass in these windows. I am going to do that in Cinema 4D. Um, it's much easier to do that in Cinema 4D. Uh, also, before you export it, you will want to um, group your faces. So, these faces here have all been grouped um, depending on the different materials that you want on them. So, that would be those faces are one material. Uh, these faces down here are a different material. So in order to do that, you just click on uh, click on a face. Let's just ungroup these ones. Explode. So select a face, then just shift and left click on an, another face, and then right click, make group, and then that will just group those faces. And that will be much easier to put your materials on. Uh, in Cinema 4D. So once you've uh, once you've done that, just go to File up here, uh, Export 3D Model, and you want to export it as an FBX file. And I'm just going to name this Outside. So Export. Now this can take quite a while depending on the size of your uh, model, um, and it will take a little while to import it into Cinema 4D afterwards as well. Okay, just about done. Yep, so here we go. Uh, and it's just going to show you the amount of faces, the amount of materials that you've exported, and just click OK. Okay, so now you can open up your Cinema 4D. Oh, this is already imported, so let me just close this. And you want to go File, uh, Open, and just open the outside that you just created. And we're not going to import the textures and materials uh, that are in that. You will just get the uh, white material and possibly the materials of other things that you might have got from the 3D warehouse. So in, Im in uh, Cinema 4D I'm just going to in import the geometric data and the markers. Uh, we didn't create any lights and cameras uh, anyway so that's fine. And just click OK. And this will take a while. Uh, obviously depending on the size of the file as well. Uh, so this can take quite a long time. Uh, in the meantime I'm just going to show you um, our website just come along to conceptcreation3d.com and just have a look at some of the work that we do on here. These are all created in, um, using the same method, uh, um, built in SketchUp, uh, most of them rendered in Cinema 4D. Uh, you just go to our portfolio and have a look through these. So this was built in Cinema 4, uh, built in SketchUp, rendered in Cinema 4D. And there will be other tutorials showing you how to do and set up these lighting methods and uh, making your image look quite realistic. So just come along and uh, have a look. You can also contact me at jack at conceptcreation3d.com Just have a look on here. Here we go. Just contact me there. Um, if you if you want a uh, 
you know uh, another tutorial about uh, something else then you can um, you can just request it by emailing me there as well so th here we go it's all imported uh, it will be a lot larger than you expect it to be um, so you might want to scale it down using the old scale tool um, but yeah this is this is your model in here uh, we didn't bring in materials in so there's no materials on anything um, and you can then put your glass into your windows add your materials in it's worth noting your groups here these are the groups that we created in SketchUp so that's the group of all meshes there uh, so these are all the different groups that I created uh, so then you can just drag and drop your materials onto your groups and render it. Okay, thanks very much for uh, watching. Uh, please be sure.